Hi, I'm Derek Gant, and I'm going to help you figure out when bad debt is good. So we all know that when you start looking at debt, things like cars, credit cards, loans, those type of things are depreciating assets or just debts that don't enhance your overall net worth. We'll talk about net worth a different day, but let's suffice to say that anything that you spend should make you better financially, not worse. So when we take a look at bad debt, we're going to start with something simple like credit cards. If you were to use your credit card to help you start or launch a business or enhance or grow your business, and you did that knowing that you could, number one, pay that card off in a certain period of time because you've done the homework, or that you know that you're going to make a certain amount of money that's greater than the interest rate that you're paying on the card, and you're going to be able to pay the card off. So being able to get rid of that debt fast as you can is going to be one of the key considerations when using bad debt like credit cards um, on an item for your business or something that's going to make you more money. Now, I wouldn't suggest that you go out and you buy a fancy piece of art knowing that it's going to appreciate because that appreciation doesn't help you unless you sell the art. And unless you're a dealer and you're planning on selling it soon, it probably would not be the best use of your money. You might end up paying for that investment twice before you pay the card off. So you want to stick to things that are going to generate money. What's an idea? I have had clients that come to me and they say, hey, we're in the t-shirt business and we're going to buy a printing press and we're going to sell these shirts, but we're short a little bit of money, so we want to use the cards in order to do that. So what we have them do is sit down and analyze their cost, their equipment, the use, and the shortage. And once we do that, what's the shortage going to cost over a period of time? Once we know that information, then we can make an educated decision, understanding that sales are going to have to be made aggressively in order to see this projection come to fruition. But we know if a client is really, really interested in making more money, they're going to do their part and see it through. So when you're considering where to spend your money and what debt to accumulate to get it, you want to be very careful to analyze it from A to Z, knowing the end result is going to be you're going to gain far more than you're spending on a credit card or a family loan. Other debts that people might think are bad debts are like student loans. I encourage my clients that if they're going to be going to school for an accelerated degree or they're already in one degree and they're looking for a second degree, that they cash flow that so that maybe they take a little longer to graduate, but they don't have the big debt at the end. I'll tell you, it is not uncommon to have someone over their 40s still paying on student loan debts because the amounts become so large and the income isn't consumerate with the loan repayment or the lifestyle that person has chosen. I'd be happy to go into more details of that. I know that was a mouthful, but I'll be happy to help you. Just give me a call, shoot me a text, Derek Gant, dg at DerekGant.com. Be happy to help you get through that. Suffice to say, make certain that anytime you're going into debt, you know exactly how you're going to get out of debt. I'm Derek Gant. I want you to be your best, bring your best, leave nothing to chance.